Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and uh, Gemini Rising. Weekly tarot reading for June 24th to a June 30th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we're going to jump straight away to the spread. Or to the reading, that is. All right, so the first card that we uh, that is going to represent the topic for Gemini's week, that will be uh, the Nine of Swords, followed by the second card, which stands for the challenges that Gemini needs to overcome for throughout the week. This is going to be the Seven of Cups, followed by the third one, which is about the positive aspect of the week. That is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. And then the last card, which stands for the guidance here, we do have the Eight of Cups. All right, so very peculiar one. Hmm, it's um, it's quite of a uh, it's quite of a tough one, but we're gonna handle it, I think. All right. So uh, once again, we do have the Nine of Swords as the first card, followed by the second one, which is the Challenger Seven of Cups, standing as a positive aspect is the Wheel of Fortune. And then the final one for you, Gemini, that is to be the Eight of Cups, which is the Guidance. So uh, like I said, this reading is rather tough. Sometimes, guys, cards doesn't make perfect sense, all right? Uh, sometimes the cards are very situational or rather like the reading is very situational. It does depend what kind of a situation you are in and the reading is gonna have a different, basically it's gonna read differently. I recently had a client, you know, which kind of like, I don't wanna say failed, but uh, missed to divulge a, an uh, a important information about their current situation and the reading read extremely differently. But once, you know, they came back to me with the information and I look at the cards once again, so it's uh, I kind of things sort themselves out and uh, yeah, the reading then made sense. So uh, I'm saying that because it looks like here that this reading is all about that um, you are to reach uh, Gemini, you are to finalize something throughout the week or something is going to com come to a, a conclusion. And the thing is that at the first glance when the conclusion comes around, you ain't gonna like the results. And probably you're gonna think that this result is more on the downside than rather on the upside. However, that is just on the first glance and that is just your first initial reaction. Now, if you take the time to think about it, actually you are gonna see that you are winning more than you are actually losing. So the whole week is going to be about you overcoming that initial disappointment, if I may express myself that way, and really counting out your blessings, uh, blessings, excuse me, that are coming out of this conclusion. For example, you know, you may try to be with someone into a relationship, that person denies you, so the first thing that you 
that you uh, think of it's that oh my god you know it's things are bad but actually that could be a good thing because someone else which is lurking around the corner which is much better match than this one that denied you is to come around so what my, i'm trying to say here gemini that what is to happen to you this week it has a reason and the reason is at least according to these cards that uh, the universe have have some better plans for you all right or if you don't believe into universe or God, you have made the, you have structured your things in a such a way, or you made such a chain reaction that leads to a better things than the one that it is concluding this week. <clears throat> so the first card here uh, is the nine of swords, and it does speaks for the anxiety and about the uh, how can I place it the the regrets of it's difficult to describe at this point of the regret that you may have for the hopes you have placed into this conclusion and as that conclusion doesn't come around as you have expected so what you can do here really guys is to just be in peace with it that is all that the that the next cards not this one but the next cards are pointing you gotta be in peace with it because as the challenge is here seeing that you can go pretty extreme i would say pretty berserk and do things that you would that you are to regret moving forward into the future so just calm yourself down uh, for example you may uh, <clears throat> apply for this promotion and that promotion isn't given to you but to your co-worker so you get extremely frustrated you go berserk and that actually means that you are going to get fired for example or that you are going to be punished for for that thing so it's it's very important here that you calm yourself down regardless of what the outcome of the conclusion is going to be and yeah we are seeing the tower card here as um, as a catalyst so we do have an, an active friends and it's going to be very unpleasant for what it seems the towers always have a very unpleasant symptoms and especially as it has a friend next to it and it is the nine of swords the only things that gets worse than that is with the ten of swords with the ten of swords it would have mean extreme destruction it would have mean you know that uh, you have to completely abandon your current life and start building it from scratch and these kind of stuff but luckily we do have the nine of swords and with the nine of swords it's just that anxiety and this uh, uh, a lack of clamorous belief that you are going to get something better afterwards now what you need to know here is that when the tower card comes around it is very faithful timing what i mean is that these circumstances happening are exactly as they are supposed to happen and even though if they are not pleasant at, the, at this time they always lead to nurturing healing and growing effect afterwards so what follows next that new perspective which is around the corner for you after this week is over after the havoc of this week is over and the time of turmoil finally ends is going to be a, a much better one to substitute this one which you are uh, kind of missing at that point i hope that i do make sense here all right so uh, the next one that is to be the challenge and it is the seven of cups and it's about doing stupid things like i said going berserk you know denying that it's going to be the way that the universe, for example, uh, decided to be. So uh, the challenge here is to ground yourself. The challenge here is to be objective. The challenge here is to know that yet are better things to come around, you know. And only thing that you need to do right now is just hold on into what gives you sanity, if I may express myself that way. So if your, for example, career is on the rock, hold on to your family. If your family is on the rock, hold on to your career you know hold on to those things that you know are quite safe and secured and nothing can uh, let's say you know jeopardize them in any way the accompanied card here that is to be the chariot so the formation is a active uh, a passive excuse me passive supporters that we have and chariot is very powerful card next to the uh, seven of cups it does point to unrealistic goals unrealistic expectations even it's kind of like uh, this uh, how can i this standpoint that one can have that can actually try to uh, reverse you know the course of events while one cannot reverse the course of events and the more one tries to reverse the course of events 
the more one makes the situation, their situation, not the situation of the events, but their situation worsen. So to, if you, I have to give you an example, let's say that your, uh, your girlfriend or your boyfriend leaves you, you know, they break up with you and you feel that if you do something, you're going to get them back. And the more you do, the worse the things become and the worse for you, you get anxiety, you get depressed, depressed, you know, uh, you get that sense of, uh, of self worthlessness, like that you don't deserve anybody around you or no one wants to be with you in these kind of stuff. So it's, it's best, you know, just to calm yourself down. It's very, very important. So the positive aspect here that we do have for you, Gemini's throughout the week, that is going to be the uh, wheel of fortune. So the wheel of fortune here has that rare quality or either property of it saying that the efforts from the past, be they bitter or sweet, are going to be reaped in the future. So what that card here tells us is that you, you did things in the past uh, actually set you up for something much better right now that you do have right now. Let's say if you're following the example of that your girlfriend or a boyfriend quits on you, you know, or bails on you, though, hey, it, it's a matter of expression or break ups with you. This is because you set you up for something better, for a better relationship. Believe it or not, it is what the card says. Okay. Additionally to that, aside from this uh, field of havoc that you may experiencing, you know, for example, if your career is on the rock, and as I said, you hold on to your family, this card, it is a sign that in this other thing that you're gonna hold on into, you are gonna have extraordinary experiences, uh, many exhilarating, you know, enterprises, and in generally that thing will help you to go through the, the havoc. Now we do have a chaos and havoc from one side, and this tells us that you will be able to control it by holding on into something that gives you sanity, that grounds you, okay? The accompanied card here that is to be the Nine of Cups. So the formation, it is a active enemies that we do have. And as an active enemy in the Nine of Cups here to the Wheel of Fortune here, the Nine of Cups, it does point to this um, thing that you're going to hold on into, guys, uh, which is a, a thing that makes you happy. It is something you deserve and something that you already secured. Like I said, it is very unlikely that you will be able to do whatever you can to uh, jeopardize it in any way. So, uh, yeah, it's... Um it's a rough week. I don't want to lie to you, Gemini. It's, it, it will be a rough week, at least according to my cards. But uh, it is the way if I were a Gemini and I see those cards, I would have just, you know, do as minimum activities as possible into those very uh, insecure fields, you know, like. I don't know what kind of a field that could be in you, but let's say if you have a some rangos with friends and uh, it's it's the, the the environment is very tense into your social circle, then I, if I were you, I wouldn't spend much time into my social circle. If in the family the uh, situation is very tense, you know, I would not spend much time uh, in my family. That is for the greater good, not because you are bailing on someone or something. That is just so. You you don't provoke and make actually the circumstances of the nine of swords and the tower card as worst as they can because they can be quite severe guys it's it's a real storm and uh, you decide how that storm is gonna go uh, go go along you know i mean it could be just a normal storm or it could be a damn hurricane it's it's just it depends on how you're going to approach it and the way how you milder the circuit the uh, the impact or rather like you know, the negative impact of this upon your life is that you don't do much about it. Just, you know, try to strive away from it. So let's say you and your husband are uh, arguing a lot. Well, stop paying attention to him, all right? When he raises his voice and start arguing, just go out, spend time with friends. Just I'll wait that time to pass of these extremely unstable energies that are for, throughout the week. 
So uh, the last card that we do have, it's a guidance card and that will be the Eight of Cups. So what the Eight of Cups here tells us is that even though the current situation that you are or the current week that you may find yourself in, it will be rather unsatisfiable here with the Eight of Cups. Well, then a, a much better perspective emerges soon, which means that if you be able to endure the week and actually nothing breaks in there, then the thing will improve. So if your marriage doesn't break throughout this week, it's going to start improving. If your relationship doesn't break this week, then it's going to start improving. You know, if you if you don't get fired from your career, then your uh, from your job, then your job will start improving and etc. etc. But even if you get those things broken or even if you get fired, that car is a sign that a much better thing lur is lurking on um, uh, uh, around. Uh, the corner so you don't have to blame yourself for anything. Uh, the accompanied card here of the Eight of Cups is going to be the Ten of Cups so we do have a um, passive supporters and the Ten of Cups here points that uh, with the Eight of Cups it's just a confirmation you know that these new I don't know I don't know the English word right the new takeoff, I would say, after this uh, week of um, havoc and turmoil ends, is going to make your life looking much brighter and brighter with every day. The only thing that you got to do here, guys, is survive the week. Or rather, do not allow, do not give any excuses to your situations and to uh, your relationships, be, uh, be, the, be they... Um, co-worker type of relationship or a personal relationship to escalate in a negative way. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Gemini for a um, June 24th to June 30th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.